Motivational speeches? Yeah, they're kind of lame now. All right, first, let's ask ourselves why anyone watches these. Usually for a pickup, right? Creating a sense of energy, motivation, guidance, whatever you need at that time. But does anyone truly listen to the overall message and apply it? For example, take this one. The only way we get to the ultimate versions of ourselves is by replacing ourselves and grow all the time. This has to be an addiction, an emergency. Every time you don't make it an emergency, it should feel like, if I don't do this, I will die. What? First off, ultimate version of yourself. What is that? What even is that? Do I just slowly become the fastest man in the world? Smartest, richest, sexiest, like what is the ultimate version? Now, if I'm personally designing it, shouldn't it be more helpful to, you know, tell us to understand who we are and what our limitations are as a whole? Like, for example, if I'm rolling up in my new Carmen MVP 502 and claim I want to be the fastest man in the world, it's probably not the best move. It's a cute dream, but not the best move. And make it an emergency. If you don't do this, you should feel like you're dying. So basically, tunnel vision. Fuck anything else. Fuck balance, fuck relationships, fuck an overall healthy mental state. If those things are in your way to attend to your pseudo-emergency, you know what you need to do. What? It's not like you're going to choose death, <laughs> duh. And you see, this is the over-the-top buzzword mixed in with music that hype people up so much that they create this I can do anything anime pro tag bubble in their head. Now, if you're five and developing, sure, this is A-OK -okay to do. In fact, you can hype up your five-year-old to be a hero for justice and get another beer from the fridge for daddy. But if you're at the end of your development phases, these speeches are just fanfare at best. Because if you look at some of them, you can find they're just trying to promote, sell, sign up for whatever class or book they have on file. Psst, no shade though, if people are buying, keep going my guy. Brought to you by NoSQ and Economics 101. And to wrap it all up, personally, most often than not, people are just submitting other people's words and speeches. Now, if you're not making the material, aka performing it yourself, I don't want to hear it. In fact, motivational speeches are so weird at this point, anyone can make it. Just keep it bare bones, don't apply it to your reality, add music, and you're good to go. Quit? Who are you quitting for? Me? You? Them? Why? Because it's hard. You had enough? You didn't get what you wanted. Funny because that's not the person you were a second ago. The person back then was still in it, finding new ways to approach, new ways to solve the problem, new ways to keep pushing forward. So you explain to me right now where that person went in a span of a second. Because let me tell you, the city of Rome didn't quit. The sun didn't quit. The ocean, the air you breathe, did not quit. And we appreciate them to this day for their efforts. So go ahead, quit doing drugs. Quit being an alcoholic. Quit being an abusive person. But in the end, you'll never be appreciated if you quit now. Hmm. It's ironic. Although you uttered that word, it's never too late to go back. All it takes is a second, right? P.S. Dragon Ball Motivational is the best anyway. Don't compete with perfection.